good afternoon students yesterday we have completed definition of matrices order of matrix and how to identify the order of matrix and how to find the the different orders of the matrix all those we have completed today we have to discuss the type of matrices in this session we will discuss the different type of matrices depending on their order and elements are present the first type of matrix is column matrix a matrix is said to be column matrix if it is having only one column for example a equal to 2 3 5 it is called column matrix now we observe that it is having only one column and order of this is here rows are 3 and column is 1 therefore its order is 3 by 1 it is the example for column matrix similarly if you take 1 5 0 8 it is also column matrix here we observe that it is having four rows and one column and it is given by order 4 by 1 in general the order of any column matrix is n by 1 where n stands for it is row and it is nothing but column in general it is the order of the any column matrix next we go for second one row matrix a row matrix is nothing but it is having only one row for example a equal to 6 8 it is a row matrix here it is having only one row but two columns here row is only one and columns are two therefore its order is given by it is 1 by 2 similarly if you take b equal to 3 8 1 it is also row matrix here we observe that row is only one but columns are four therefore its order is given by 1 by 4 in general the order of row matrix is 1 by m so one stands for it is row and m stands for column it is the order of row matrix next third one we go for square matrix square matrix a matrix is said to be square matrix if it is having equal number of rows and columns that is number of rows equal to number of columns number of rows equal to number of columns number of columns such type of matrix is called as square matrix example a equal to 2 3 1 5 it is a square matrix because here number of rows are 2 and columns columns are also 2 therefore here number of rows equal to number of columns therefore it is called as square matrix another example b equal to 2891640498 it is also square matrix because it is having total three rows and three columns and order of this is 3 by 3 and order of this is 2 by 2 if it is a square matrix we can say that order of the matrix b is 3 by 3 or b is a matrix of order 3 like that we tell the order of this matrix b suppose it is a square matrix we observe the diagonal elements diagonal elements diagonal elements are given by a i i a i i stands for diagonal elements the left top to right bottom elements are considered as diagonal elements here 2 6 and 9 are called as diagonal elements 
here 2 is nothing but a11 and 6 is position of a22 and 9 is a33. In general, we write it as the diagonal element symbol is AII. Here, I and J values are equal. 2, 6, 9 are said to be diagonal elements of the matrix B. And this line is called as principal diagonal of the square matrix. And remaining other elements are called as non-diagonal elements. Here, non-diagonal elements are other than diagonal elements. Here, 8, 9, 4, 8, 9, 4 and 1, 0, 4. 1, 0, 4. These are called as non-diagonal elements. Non-diagonal elements of matrix B. Non-diagonal elements of matrix B. These are other than the diagonal elements. Now, these are denoted by symbol AIJ. Here, we observe that I and J are different for the non-diagonal elements. But for diagonal elements, I and J are equal. AI represent diagonal elements. AIJ represents it is non-diagonal elements for the square matrix. Next, we go for Scalar matrix, sir. Diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which all the diagonal elements are different and non-diagonal elements are equal to zero. The condition for this is all the all the non-diagonal all the non-diagonal elements equal to zero all the non-diagonal elements equal to zero such type of matrix is called as a diagonal matrix now for example a equal to 2 0 0 9 it is a diagonal matrix it is a square matrix. Here we observe that diagonal elements are 2 and 9. They are not equal to 0. And non-diagonal elements are 0 and 0. These are non-diagonal elements. Therefore, it is considered as diagonal matrix. Another example, B equal to 7, 0, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 6. It is also a diagonal matrix because here the diagonal elements are 7, 9, 6, they are not equal to 0 and remaining all the elements are equal to 0. In general, we define the diagonal matrix can be defined like this. A equal to AIJ is a square matrix. It is said to be diagonal matrix under the condition if AII is equal to not equal to 0 and Aij equal to 0. Means diagonal elements are not equal to 0 and non diagonal elements are equal to 0. Such type of matrix is considered as diagonal matrix. Next we go for scalar matrix. Scalar matrix. Scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are equal. It is also diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix in which all the all the diagonal elements are equal. Diagonal elements are equal. Right. Now here the condition is AAI equal to K and AIJ equal to 0. It is condition for scalar matrix. For example, A equal to 3, 0, 0, 3. It is a scalar matrix because it is also a diagonal matrix. 
where the diagonal elements are equal here, three and three are diagonal elements for this and non-diagonal elements are zero. It is example for scalar matrix. Similarly, we consider another one. It is 8, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, 0, 8. It is also scalar matrix because here the diagonal elements are equal and non-diagonal elements are zero. That is a i i equal to k. Here k value is 8 and a i j equal to 0. In this example, a i equal to k. k means here 3 and non-diagonal non elements are equal to 0. This is, uh, these two are examples for scalar matrix. Let's we go for identity matrix. It is also called as unit matrix. Here, identity matrix is also a scalar matrix. It is a scalar matrix. Or we can also call it as diagonal matrix in which diagonal elements are diagonal elements are equal to 1 equal to 1 such type of matrix is called as identity or unit matrix in this case here we observe that the diagonal elements instead of here equal they are equal to 1 and remaining other elements are equal to 0 it is denoted by symbol denoted by the symbol i i stands for identity matrix if you write i equal to 1 0 0 1 it is identity matrix of order 2 similarly if you write i equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 it is identity matrix of order 3 order of this is 3 order of this matrix is 3 it is also written as I3. I3 stands for identity matrix of order 3. Now we go for next type of matrix. Zero matrix. Zero matrix. It is also called as null matrix. A matrix is said to be zero or null matrix if it is having all the elements equal to zero. Otherwise, if every element of a Given matrix is equal to 0, then it is considered as 0 or null matrix. It is usually denoted by the symbol. Symbol for this is O. O stands for 0 or null matrix. Here the condition is every element, every element is equal to 0. Equal to 0. Example, if we consider O equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. It is a 0 or null matrix. Another example, 0, 0, 0. It is also 0 or null matrix. They are in different orders. It is second order. It is of order 3 by 1. Next, we discuss some of the examples on this. If x plus 2, 0, 0, x plus 2 is a scalar matrix or we take it as 8, then find x x plus 2, 0, 0, 8 is a scalar matrix. Then you find the value of x. Now, it is compared with scalar matrix. As you know that in the scalar matrix, the non-diagonal elements are equal to 0, but diagonal elements are equal. In this case, we observe that the diagonal elements are x plus 2 and 8. But according to our definition, these two are equal. 
therefore you take it as x plus 2 equal to a directly by definition of scalar matrix therefore x equal to 8 minus 2 x equal to 6 so this is the value of x if it becomes a scalar matrix if you substitute x equal to 6 what happens 6 plus 2 equal to 8 and it is already 8 then we get diagonal elements are equal to 8 and non diagonal elements are equal to 0 then it becomes a scalar matrix like this we solve the example by using the given condition and given type of matrix next we go for equality of matrices equality of right equality of matrices the two matrices a equal to aij and b equal to bij are said to be equal only when under two conditions the condition number one is the orders of the two matrix matrices a and b should be equal orders should be equal and second condition is the Elements of A must be equal to corresponding elements of the matrix B. Then they are said to be equal matrices. Second condition is Yavodi element of A must be equal to must be equal to corresponding elements of B. If these two conditions are satisfied, then we say that the matrices A and B are equal, otherwise they are not equal. If A and B are equal matrices, we can write symbolically A equal to B. It is the symbol for equality of the two matrices. Now we discuss some of the examples by using the equality of the matrices. If it is given A equal to 3, 1, 2, 5 and B equal to 3, 1, 2, 5. Now we observe that A and B are two given matrices and they are having the same order. It is of second order, it is also second order. And we observe that the corresponding elements are equal. Here A11 element of A matrix must be equal to A11 element of matrix B. A12 element of A equal to A12 element. A21 element of A equal to A21 element of B. And A2 element of A equal to A2 element of B. Then we say that these two are equal matrices. Then we write A equal to B directly. Because these two matrices satisfy condition number 1 and condition number 2. Now by doing this you can solve the some examples. Suppose you given x plus 3, z minus 4, 3y minus 8, 2, p minus 6, equal to 1, 3, minus 1, 4. Then find the values of, then find the values of x, y, z and p. These four variables we calculate by using the definition of equality of matrices. It is already given that these two matrices are equal. Then directly we take corresponding elements are equal by using the definition. Here x plus 3 is a11 element of first matrix and 1 is a11 element of second matrix. Then we equate both by using the definition we get x plus 3 equal to 1. So, x equal to 1 minus 3, x equal to minus 2. It is the first answer. Similarly, we equate second corresponding element. It is a12 with a12. That is, z minus 4 equal to 3 minus z minus 4 minus z equal to 3 plus 4 or z equal to minus 7. It is second element. Similarly, we equate third element. 3y minus 8 equal to minus 1. It is a to 1 element. It is also a to 1 element. We take both are equal. It is 3y minus 8 equal to minus 1. 
थ्री वाय इक्वल टू माइनस वन प्लस एट थ्री वाय इक्वल टू सेवन देर पर वाय इक्वल टू सेवन बाय थ्री इट इज द थर्ड वैल्यू सिमरली वी टेक अनदर दैट इज टू पी माइनस सिक्स इक्वल टू फोर इट इज ए टू टू एलिमेंट इज ऑल्सो ए टू टू एलिमेंट टू पी माइनस सिक्स इक्वल टू फोर सो इफ यू टेक दिस साइड टू पी इक्वल टू फोर प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू टेन देर फोर पी इक्वल टू टेन बाय टू इट इज इक्वल टू फाइव देर फोर पी इक्वल टू फाइव सो दिज आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ वेरिएबल्स बाय यूजिंग इक्वालिटी ऑफ मैट्रस वी कैन सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल लाइक दिस गो फॉर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इफ एक्स प्लस वाय एक्स वाय जेड माइनस फाइव थ्री इक्वल टू इट इज फाइव सिक्स माइनस वन थ्री देन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ then find the values of x and y now this is also solved by using the definition of equality of two matrices in this example we observe that in place of x plus y they are given 5 therefore we take x plus y equal to 5 call this as equation number 1 now it can be written as y equal to 5 minus x Call this as two. This is the first equation and second equation by using first equality. Similarly, we observe that x y place is six. X y equal to six. Call this as three. Now by using two and three, we can get the values of x and y. Then we write using using two in three, which we substitute the value of y in three. Then we get x into y value is five minus x equal to six. This is using two equation in three equation. Just to substitute y value in the equation number three. Then we get five x minus x square equal to six. Five x minus x square equal to six. Now you simplify this. You take this to that side. You get x square. You take five to that side. Minus five x plus six equal to zero. This is quadratic equation. Now you find the factors of this equation to get x value. Here the factors are it is minus three and minus two because here minus three plus minus two is minus five and minus three into minus two equal to plus six. Then we write like this: x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 equal to 0. This minus 5x we get as minus 3 and minus 2. Then you take the common. X is common. You get x minus 3 in the bracket. Similarly here, in these two, minus 2 is common. We get x minus 3 equal to 0. And x minus 3 is common. X minus 3 into x minus 2 equal to zero. Then x minus 3 equal to zero or x minus 2 equal to zero. X equal to 3 or x equal to 2. We get two values of x. Using these two values of x, we get two values of y by using two by two. What is your y value? Y equal to 5 minus x. X equal to 3. y equal to 5 minus 3 equal to 2 similarly you take second value x equal to 2 y equal to 5 minus 2 equal to 3 therefore x values are 3 and 2 y values are 2 and 3 now remaining another one is z value for that you take z minus 5 equal to minus 1 z minus 5 equal to minus 1, z equal to minus 1 plus 5, and z equal to 4. So this is the value of z. Like this, we solve the examples by using equality of the two matrices. Take it as 
important example. Now we go for next example. Here you observe that x plus y plus z, x plus z, y plus z. It is follow matrix. It is given equal to 9, 5, 7. Then we calculate the values of x, y and z by the equality of the two matrices. Now we observe that corresponding elements x plus y plus z is equal to 9, x plus z equal to 5, y plus z equal to 7. We write x plus y plus z equal to 9. Call this equation number 1. And second equality x plus z equal to 5. Call this equation number 2. And third one is y plus z equal to 7. Call this as 3. Now by using all the three equations, we calculate the values of x, y and z. Now you observe that this y plus z value is present in equation number 3. If you substitute y plus z value in 1, directly you get the value of x. Then you substitute 3 in 1 directly, you get 1 value. Using 3 in 1. Then you get x as it is plus y plus z. y plus z value is what? 7. It is 7 equal to 9. So x equal to 9 minus 7, x equal to 2. So it is the first value in the given question. Next we go for y and z value. It is very easy to find the remaining two values. Here we consider another equation. If you know the x value, it is easy to find the z value by the equation number 2. By 2 x plus z equal to 5. So put the x value here. x equal to 2. 2 plus z equal to 5. z equal to 5 minus 2. z equal to 3. You get x value and z value. Then you find y value. For that you can use equation number 3. By 3 y plus z equal to 7. Already you know the z value. Put z value z equal to 3 here, you get y plus 3 equal to 7, you get y equal to 7 minus 3, y equal to 4. So these are the values of x, y and z by using equality of the two matrices. We calculate the unknown values that is x, y and z. Now go for another example. Here it is given that a minus b 2a plus c 2a minus b 3c plus b. It is the first matrix which is equal to second matrix which is having the elements minus 1, 5, 0 and 30. Now it is already given that these two are equal matrices. Now directly we take corresponding elements are equal. How can you take corresponding elements? Here a minus b is equivalent to minus 1. Directly you write a minus b equal to minus 1. And you call this as equation number 1. And you take the equation which is having a and b first. If it is 2a minus b, its corresponding element is 0. 2a minus b is equal to 0. Call this as equation number 2. Now first we can solve for a, b for these two equations. How can you solve? Now you make change of sign, it is minus, it is plus, it is minus, then P and P get cancelled, here you get A minus 2A equal to right hand side is minus 1 minus 0, A minus 2A is minus A, it is minus 1, therefore A equal to 1, the first value of what A equal to 1, then by using this A value, you can calculate the remaining all the values. If you take 2a plus c equal to 5 by equality of these two elements, you get 2a plus c equal to 5. These are equal because they are corresponding elements. Already you know the a value, substitute here. a equal to 1, you get 2 into 1 plus c equal to 5. 
then you get c equal to 5 minus 2 c equal to 3 it is the second value now you got a value and c value then you go for equation number 1 by 1 a minus b equal to minus 1 substitute here a value what is your a value a equal to 1 put a equal to 1 here 1 minus b equal to minus 1 minus b equal to minus 1 minus 1 take this side it is minus 1 minus b equal to minus 2 b equal to 2 it is the second value next we go for corresponding elements 3c plus d and here 13 3c plus d equal to 13 3c plus d equal to 13 because you want d value already 3 values are calculated put the c value c value got already uh, 3 c equal to 3 you substitute then you get 3 into 3 plus d equal to 13 then you get d equal to 13 minus 9 take 9 to this side then you get d equal to 4 therefore we get a equal to 1 b equal to 2 c equal to 3 and d equal to 4 the solutions for the your exam now let us take some assignment questions first one 3a minus 1 2b minus 4 x minus 3 2y minus 4 is equal to 3 2 1 4 by taking equality of two matrices we can solve for x y a and b these values you have to calculate similarly one similar question i given if x plus y x y 3z minus 1 4 is equal to 6 8 5 4 then you make equality of two matrices and equate the elements and solve for x and y these two try in your home up to this we have completed the type of matrices and examples on type of matrices and equality of matrices and solving the examples by using the equality of the two matrices up to this we have completed in next class we go for the algebra of the matrices or operation of the matrices. Thank you, Anandar.